All right, welcome back. We're talking about video number two. We're continuing on with uh, access forms. And this time we're going to talk about the delete, unload, and close events. So uh, again, MS access forms, delete, unload, and close events. Uh, last time we talked about, if you haven't seen that video yet, uh, look for MS Access Forms Video 1 or Part 1 uh, where we talked about the open, the load, and the current event. But this is uh, video number 2 and so uh, without any further ado we'll go ahead and look at the uh, at our form. This is our form of uh, and a lot of this will look familiar to you if uh, you looked at the first video the password is password welcome Eric happy oh can't find the f the form FRM form events well that's good uh, it's a good example of it, which you may you may have encounter as well the same error and so it may spend four hours or I don't know it may be an exaggeration but it may seem like a long time scratching your head trying to figure this one out but or you may, you may be a genius and uh, find out about it right away. So only you, only you know. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna look at this. Uh oh, I gotta make sure my phone didn't ring at me. Um, so I'm gonna click on debug here and it's saying form events. I can't find it. Now I named my form something different, part two, underscore part two. So this a lot of times happens when you copy the form over for something. So part two and uh, all should be well. Okay, it is. Now as I go through here. Okay, great. I don't get the error anymore. So back here again. We're looking at the delete delete item, the delete event. Where's my delete event? So the, the delete event happens on the form before you actually delete the record from the table. So you're actually able to stop it before it actually gets deleted from the database. As you know, access is not real forgiving, especially in the prior versions. Access wasn't real forgiving with deletes. You could undo them. So with the form makes it nice, you have a buffer here. And so we have a cancel event we can we can deal with. We can treat this. Cancel as integer. So if message box continue with delete, and then if it's a no, we really don't want to delete it, then we're going to flag the cancel, and we're going to cancel the whole delete. If the cancel is going to be equal to true. So we have like a little buffer. Let's try it out. So if I want to go ahead and uh, delete this record, I want to say I want to delete the whole thing. And it's going to say continue with delete. Uh, no, I don't really want to. I press the wrong button. Then it's back. It doesn't it. It's not deleted. If I say I want to delete it, yes, it's gone. You're about to delete one record. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, so that is the delete event. That's very very good event to uh, add to your applications. Then we have the <clears throat> the following two close events, uh, which are this one. This one in particular is really really useful. The unload event. Maybe you want to go ahead and you want to have something. You want to have an event that happens before the actual closing of the form. Well, the unload event is for you. Uh, you here again, you can cancel. You can use the keyword that says cancel for your own benefit. You can cancel the whole unload operation. So uh, you are able to, clo uh, to test for the closing of the form and then to be able to... So, some people made, made a mistake and they made mistake and push um, press close when they really didn't mean to okay let's go to the form here and uh, what actually I'll go ahead and try to close out my form yes I do 
Okay. Do I want to close the form? Eh, no. Okay. Again. Do I want to close the form? No. If that happens in the unload event. So, and if I want to close the form, yes. Bang. I do. I close it. So, I'm back here on the... Back here at the log again. By the way, this is not case sensitive, so I can type in any. Uh, that's what VBA is. Blog America. <clears throat> VBA is not case sensitive. So the uh, unload event happens before the close event. Okay, and here's close. So you could put a, uh, a bit of code here if you want, like uh, log the message or something like that. That the the form has been closed. So the close event occurs when a form is closed and removed from the screen. The close event occurs after the unload event. In a close event, in a close event procedure or an unload event, you can open another window or request the user's name to make a log entry that indicates who opened the form or the report. Okay, I say form or report because you can utilize these same, uh, same, same sub procedures uh, on the on the report as well in program for those those different those different occurrences. All right, so that's that. We're going to go on to our next video. We're going to talk about controls. If you want to go ahead and get this or you can get the code for this video at vbahowto.com be sure to rate or comment on this video and be sure to subscribe to this channel so vba from eric thanks for watching vbahowto.com your vba resource take care